Hi, everyone. It's John again to play Immaculate Grid. I'm going for low time, low rarity, and playing grid number 538 uh, this afternoon in honor of Ken Griffey Jr., who had a 538 career slugging percentage. I'll try to work him into the uh, the first round here, and then I'll go all Brewers in the second round. Sorry for not recording all week since, I think, Monday. Um, just been a busy week. So um, I'll uh, try to not always be in the habit of just recording a bunch of episodes on the weekends, um, trying to uh, get back to where uh, I was recording every day. But um we'll see so we'll we'll try to make that work i'm gonna start uh sharing my screen and we'll roll right into it and uh that second round we will celebrate the central division champions of 2024 the milwaukee brewers or at least we'll try hit and refresh hit and go and away we go all right uh, let's see here. Ken Griffey Jr. won an MVP and played in the outfield. So I think that's actually the only one he'll work for. But there we go. All right. Played outfield 200 hits in a season. How about Tony Gwynn? 200 hits in a season while playing first base ever. Pujols, not the same year. 200 hits playing second base. I'm quite sure Altuve will work for that one. Yep. Uh, outfielder Ty Cobb with 300 career average. 300 career average might actually be a tough one to uh, try to achieve here. I'll go Lou Gehrig on 300 career average. 300 career average playing uh, second base. Um, let's go Jackie Robinson. And then Joe Morgan down here. And first base MVP, let's go Votto. Right at a minute. I'm going to call that a minute. Um, yeah, it d- doesn't look like I, I guess I matched on L2. A. Hornsby, of course. What Jagger opts instead. But uh, all right. I mean, he's right over my head. So, all right. We'll try to, man, I don't know if the Brewers are going to work here. Your 300 career. Well, no, we could probably. There might be a way to sneak in somebody who didn't play very much. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work for the Brewers. We'll see. I don't know if we'll see. I'll just sort of start playing and I'll see where I get to. This is the one that I think is is going to be tricky. Because I think Aaron and Molitor both have 300 career averages. And I can't think of anyone else off the top of my head who played in Milwaukee, who had a 300 career average and was a position player for any amount of time. I think I would have to come up with a... I'd have to come up with uh, someone who, who went for three for 10 or something like that. And I don't know if I'm going to have that. But we'll, uh, we'll do a stop share and a reshare. I'll, I'll at least go for eight of nine. Actually, you're getting what you paid for, folks. I'll find it. Uh, Let's see. It's that one. All right. Hit and refresh on grid 538 here. Um, All right. So Molitor will work. Well, sorry. I can't use Molitor up here at all, can I? Um, I can use Yount here, though. He takes a full percent. Interesting. And then 200 hits at first base, I can go. Ooh, this is actually an interesting one. Who am I going to get at second base, if not Molitor? I wonder if Jeff Cirillo, who played first and second base, because I can use. I can use Braun here or Cooper. Um, you basically have Braun, Cooper. And Molitor for 200 hits in a season. Uh, Aaron also had 200 hits in a season. I think Dave Parker will work. I don't know that he ever played first base. Um, I don't think he has a 300 career average. He certainly will work here, though. For 0.7. And then... Yeah, MVP at second base is also just a super rare one. Aaron actually would work, but I, there's just not enough places to, to put him. <laughs> um, two 
200 hits, playing first base. Because I can use Molitor for all of these and all of these. The, the question I think would be, did Josh Donaldson ever play first or second base? Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to, to make all brewers work on this one. I'll, uh, let's get as far as we can. I'll go Cecil Cooper here. Actually, let's go. Yeah, yeah. I'll go Cecil Cooper here. And 200 hits having, yeah, your 300 averages are pretty much, unless there's someone I'm not thinking of. I think like Todd Dunn works for season, but not for career. Braun came just a little bit short. Yeah, you can go, maybe we go Molitor here. And playing first, and now that I've used, like, I don't think we're going to work Yelich in here. In fact, we might have been able to work Parker in here. Uh, but I can work Braun in. He tried out first base, didn't go great. Um, second base MVP, there's just not that many, much less having played for the Brewers. The only way that works is if Josh Donaldson managed to play a little bit of second base. But even if it was just coming down to that, I would try out Josh Donaldson. Um, I think I'm out of people who, who are going to work for 200 hits. I've used all the ones who did it in a brewery uniform and Aaron and Parker's a maybe, but I think he probably did. But I only played second base. Um, and then Willie Randolph, but I don't know if he ever got 200 hits. And even then, I'm gonna I would run out at first base. So, I'm I'm kind of just I don't think there's a path to go on all brewers. Um, let's see. So MVP at second base. I'm just gonna close out. It was a valiant effort. It was an okay effort. Frankie Frisch, point seven. Uh, let's see, 200 hits and having played second base at some. I wonder if Cirillo, if he did it with Colorado. I don't think he ever did it with Milwaukee. But I could see Cirillo having gotten to 200 hits in Colorado. Probably not enough to go for it. What about Eric Young? Oh, there, there were options I could have played around with, but even this was always going to be a, always going to be a tricky one. Let's get Jimmy Fox in there. And then 200 hits in a season from a second baseman. Uh, is there anyone? Pedroia works. Um, I think, uh, yeah, Robinson will work, but I've already used him. Hornsby will work. Um, Marcus Giles be an interesting one. How about Freddie Sanchez? Pretty sure he works. There we go. Rarity of 13. So let's go. Like there are a couple variations here that might have worked. And if you'll indulge me, I'll take a look at does I can just like look at the list, I suppose. Ah, uh, Mark Loretta would have worked. Okay. So I could have gone Mark Loretta there. Totally forgot that 2004 season with the Padres. And then... Let's see. Would Jeff Cirillo have worked? Does he ever have a 200-hit season? that would open some things up. And then let's see, what was I looking at here? This is just people who've played second base at uh, possibly first base at any point and hit 300. Yep. 
Yeah, he hit 296 for his career. 194, 198, 195. Yeah, he wasn't going to work out. And my last possibility here, Eric Young Sr. Nope, not enough hits. And my last, last possibility here was, I was thinking Josh Donaldson, teed up MVP, and a little first base time. I could have used him there, but not in a little catcher time. Interesting. All right. Well, that was uh, good to know. Um, but uh, we'll just call it there. I'll take six out of nine for uh, the Brewers and uh, 13 overall. So thank you so much for playing. And I'll try to get the rest of the grids out today. Thanks. Peace.